Duran Duran, Queen, The Human League, Flock of Seagulls, all these 80s bands. Aha, who remembers the Take On Me video where the guy is the cartoon and he breaks out the cartoon to be with his chick. What a hero. Love the 80s. I was born in 76, so throughout the 80s I was aged between 4 and 14. So I'm an 80s child, let's say. I had things like Shaking Stevens and things like that. Bands that obviously I was um, from the voice you may have gathered, I'm from England, even though I live in the United States now. I was born in England, raised in England for 29 years until I moved over here in 2006. So all my early music influences are from back then. There's something else we had as well in the 80s, something that you could give to your teenager today. They'd have no idea how to use it. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't know how to open it up, put something inside it, and then get it to work. And that's a Walkman, a cassette version of the Walkman. And they used to clamshell open, you had a cassette, C60, C45, whatever it was. Put it in there, if it was a C60, after 30 minutes you'd have to pull it out, put it back in, close it back up. None of this, oh I hate that song, let me skip 10 in half a second to get to the song that I want. No, not then. These big chunky buttons and you'd be pressing and fast forward, stop, play, oh, a bit more, another 10 seconds, stop, oh crap I've gone too far, back a bit, oh, and then you'd finally get it and you'd be like, yes, none of this instant rewind to the beginning of it to re-listen to it again if you wanted to hear it, or if you got bored just instantly choose the next song, no you had to do that every time, sometimes it would take longer than the song took to play through to find the actual song the start of it anyway. First word problems I know but you know it was a pain. Teenagers don't realize the struggle was real back in the 80s. Anyway with these Walkmans usually came these headphones, these cheapish headphones made of plastic with just a simple metal band. And sometimes I used to sit there, I've sat there and I thought it'd be cool if you could still get them but work in modern day. And that's what these are. So these are by JLab. These are called the JLab Rewinds. They're the retro headphones and they're wireless. They're Bluetooth. Isn't that cool? I mean, look at these. They look like they just fell out of the 80s. So when you get them, they don't come with these orange things on them, but they do come in the box. I didn't do an unboxing because you literally get these two earmuffs and a blue USB cable and a piece of paper and these and that's it so it would have been a wasted video it would have been kind of strange so I didn't bother with an unboxing so yeah with these things what do you get one they look like they've just come off Simon Le Bon's head whatever they're great look at them but these not only are they wireless they're also assistant you can use them for your assistant Siri and Google Assistant Double tap on the one button that you use on the right hand side here. Double tap, it'll open up Siri or Google Assistant and then there's a built in mic as well. So you can talk to your Google Assistant and get whatever you need to. You can always place calls and things like that. You can listen to people on the phone, whatever. It, you know, it's pretty good. It also has three preset equalizers. I think it's a flat, a signature sound and then bass boost. And then to pair, it's all off this one button. To pair, you just press and hold this button. There's a little light inside here. You're not going to get to see it, but right near the micro USB port. I'm not going to give it any crap for having a micro USB port because these were $15 at the moment at Best Buy. But next to the micro USB port, there's a red and blue light that will flash once you press and hold the button for a little while. And then there's voice prompts inside the headphones as well that lets you know that it's in pairing mode. And it pairs super quick. It'll come up JLab on your phone, hit it, bang, done. It takes seconds. Nothing difficult about it whatsoever. To change the equalizers, what you do is tap quick three times and it'll go through and there'll be a series of beeps to let you know which one you're at, one, two or three. Now when it comes to the sound out of these, they're also kind of retro. Just bear in mind they're $15 right now, so alright. If you have anything bass heavy, this is not the thing to use for them. These have definitely got an 80s sound. So if you're listening to something like Duran Duran or AHA, or uh, a white snake, a rock band, anything from the 80s that wasn't bass heavy, nothing was really bass heavy back in the 80s. 
these sound pretty good and they really do sound nostalgic they've got that, that 80s sound to them if you've never heard that you won't really understand what I'm getting at but they, they are pretty cool when it comes to that music comes through nice and clear the trebles really high and the mids come through they're okay now don't get me wrong they're not going to be like a set of expensive hundred two hundred dollar sony's and things like that the fifteen dollar headphones but they've got a lot of features built into them and they're bluetooth are they worth it i think so at fifteen bucks i mean where else are you going to get google assistant siri built-in equalizer mic make phone calls wireless and retro looks I mean what you're buying these for mainly is the looks but they are super comfortable as well when you have them on you know today's headphones are bigger and bulky and things like that and they can make your ears feel warm these don't do that they really don't the battery life on these is like I'm getting around 10 hours out of them sometimes nine and it just depends on what day of the week I use them it's weird it's I don't do anything different with them at all so but so the battery life isn't bad on them whatsoever. Are they worth it? Yeah. They sit on my head and they're comfortable. I could use these in bed at night if I was listening to an audio book or listening to a podcast or listening to some like non-bass heavy music. If you're into bass heavy music, these aren't for you. But you would probably already know that because obviously the drivers in them are pretty small. But if you don't listen to bass heavy music or you like audio books, things like that, and you just love the look of the retro styling of these things, then yeah, they're absolutely worth it. Don't forget, they're made by JLab. They're called the Rewind Wireless. They're in a blue package. They come with the, blue, the black on them. So if you see them in a box and you see all black, don't panic. Just look down to the bottom left and you'll see a little hole and it'll show you the two orange pieces. That's these. Grab them. They're great if you've got kids or anything like that who are um, you know rough on headphones and things, if they're using their iPods or iPhones or tablets because we all know kids have iPhones nowadays so <clears throat> yeah they're great for that little kid running around the house if he breaks them hey it's not a hundred dollars gone it's 15 20 bucks if they're not on sale so yeah these are the JLab wireless I highly recommend them especially if you come from the 80s like I do you'll appreciate the sound that comes out of these plus they're a bit of fun all right guys I'll catch you later this is Don Johnson, signing out.